Hey, this is Colt from Necrox Gaming. I'm bringing you my Ashen Wake Titan, as promised and as voted for. This is an extremely fun build, um, and it is my own personal meta build, not what I'm being told is meta. I'm going to be using Sunshot and Ashen Wake. We'll dive into the subclass now. So, obviously, Sunbreaker, we're going to be using the Burning Maul. Um, but with that, you're going to be absolutely slaying sunspots everywhere you're going to be generating and slowing down your super another thing with this is when you slam the ground you get a cyclone of flames that seeks out targets dealing damage and scorching them and lots of scorch equals lots of ignitions the other thing with um the ignitions is ignitions also are good against unstoppable champions so if you're hitting one of them with your super you're going to be stunning it and you're going to be taking it right down the barricade shields i don't really um, worry about i like using the short barricade shield because i get fast reload and weapon stability when i'm shooting and popping and shooting from behind it also the increased reload speed i prefer using the strafe lift over any of the other jumps because especially when i'm using this and throwing a hammer i want to be a little bit more accurate when i'm throwing my grenade and throwing my hammer so obviously i'm using the throwing hammer which grants cure when you pick it up I'm going to be using the fusion grenade because it works with my exotic gauntlets and it applies scorch. So obviously you can see the scorch starting to ramp up now. You'll see with my aspects how this is going to start working. Right, so I'm going to be using Sol Invictus, Solar Ability, Final Blows for the Hammer of Soul, Impacts, Defeating Scorched Targets, Create Sunspots, Sunspots you need for slaying down your Seeper, obviously doing Restoration as well. The more stacks you apply, um, they lead to an Ignition, as I said, it's good for taking out Unstops. And Sunspots apply Scorch, so as running through your, your uh, Sunspots get Scorched, then we're going to be doing the Roaring Flames, Final Blows with Solar Abilities or Ignitions, increase the damage of your Solar Abilities, it stacks up to three times. To back this up, we're going to be going on for the Fragment Ember of Searing, defeating Scorched Targets, grants melee energy, creating a Fire spike Sprite. We're going to be doing... Um, Ember of Ashes, you apply more Scorch stacks to your targets, obviously increasing their ignition time. Ember of Resolve, Solar Grenade, Final Blows, Cure, you can be using grenades a lot. And Ember of Char, your Solar Ignition, Spread Scorch to affected targets. And the thing with this is when you're applying Scorch and you're using Sunshot and you're getting the explosions, it is absolutely lighting up the battlefield in front of you. And I think that's what's fun with this build. Ashen Wake have always been a personal favourite of mine. And they've floated meta, non-meta, meta, non-meta. Non They've never been out of the top tier. It's just people like to use something different like Laurel Splendor. But you can see here with this exotic, fusion grenades now explode on impact. And gain increased throw speed. Final blaze of fusion grenades grant grenade energy. These things are absolutely nasty, especially with the way the fusion grenades pop off. They have a nice area of scorch. They do a lot of damage, especially with these smaller rads. They'll wipe them out, and then you get your grenade back, and you're wiping out even more, and you've got sunspots everywhere. So we're going to be using the sun shot with this. Um, this weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from sun shot. It is a really nasty weapon, and one headshot equals explosion, yellow bars, um, three or four hits for this, orange bars, two or three hits for this, plus you're going to have all your sunspots, your throwing hammer, more grenades, so you literally light the whole place up, you'll have sunspots everywhere, plus you're going to be dropping orbs, you're going to be dropping your elemental orbs, and you're going to be regening your um, abilities like a pro and also on top of all of that you're going to be pulling up your super energy super quick. So on the artifact, the, the main thing that I focus on is your mods for champions. Obviously you want your um, 
a solar damage mod on here is combined with strand so sometimes i like to run with strand weapons vangavir yurt rufus perpetualis but the most important thing is sticking all the mods for your elemental orbs because you're going to get ability uptime um you're just going to get a hell of a lot of bonuses and buffs for it and obviously monochromatic doing damage with solar abilities then doing damage with the sun um spots and everything else and your sunshot you're going to be wrecking stuff really badly another thing i like to run with also is commemoration that's a personal choice the reason i like to run with it is reconstruction repulsive brace because obviously you get void debuff target when you were running with groups most people i'm running with run with void so using this i get void shield on top of everything else and then obviously the bray inheritance trait which is dealing damage regenerates super energy plus with everything else that i've got going on bringing back my super energy is absolutely beastly now we're going to go through what mods i'm running on my character as you can see, I've got Ashes to Assets, gain bonus super energy on grenade kills, plus I'm doing the Harmonic Siphon, which is rapid um, solar weapon blows. And here I'm going to f um, fit in my Kinetic Siphon, because I'm going to be using a Kinetic Machine Gun as well. So I might as well drop another orb into the mix. And obviously we've seen the Ash and Wake, so on my chest plate, the um, thing that I've got here is obviously your incoming threat mod, so whatever you're going to be tackling, make sure you put the right elements in there, gives you that little bit of protection, and I like to use the unflinching harmonic. Um, I like using this because I'm going to be using a hand cannon, and if I've got incoming fire, I like to be solid and not be flinched. Okay, stacks on stacks, we're going to be running innovation, um, we're going to run two of those reduces grenade cooldown each time you pick up an orb power we're going to be picking up a lot of those so finally with the titan mark when we look at it we are going to be running bomber with the bomber we get our increased um grenade cooldown when using your class ability so i've got two of those they stack up and then we're going to be using powerful attraction so that when you're activating your class ability you are going to be um getting all your orbs drawn to you which is obviously going to buff everything that you've got and restack you on all your abilities okay enjoy the rest of this video um Give me a like, a subscribe, and a comment. I'm going to have some screenshots up, up for you in a bit, so you can take those down. You can screenshot them with the build, and I will be providing a dim link after the video.